Uh, all right, well, while we're talking technology, shifting away from Apple, we're taking drone, a drone delivery to new heights in this week's Startup Spotlight. Flirty just unveiled its drone called the Eagle, which aims to deliver packages in less than 10 minutes time to customers. And joining us now is Flirty's founder and CEO, Matthew Sweeney. Matthew, thank you for being here. Very great to be here, thank you. Uh, when we look at what Flirty's trying to do, it's, it's an interesting space right now because there are a lot of drone startups kind of focusing on the last mile delivery problem. Uh, how is Flirty tackling it in a different way? When you think about the history of the logistics industry, it's hub and spoke. It's companies routing packages from, where, from, re, from warehouses to customer homes. Flirty's unveiling the Eagle, which is a drone that enables point-to-point -point delivery. Across the entire spectrum of cost, last mile is 53%, mm -hmm. and our Eagle can carry about about 75 percent of all packages that get delivered to homes. And I mean with a 10 minute delivery time it sounds like you might be focusing more on on urban environments so less less distance to travel is that kind of what's what's the focus? Yeah so we have customers across package delivery, food, on-demand delivery, convenience, grocery and medical. Mm -hmm. We view a future where anything that a customer wants delivered to their home can be delivered on demand by Flirty. So one of my fears is that I'm walking down the street and this like drone with a package like fall on top yes. of me. So what is the capacity in terms of weight that Flight Eagle can actually carry? We designed the Eagle to carry 75% of our customer packages. It's got double the actual payload capacity of some of our largest competitors. The exact weight and exact distance we consider proprietary, we share with our customers across those industries. So let me understand this. I see drones everywhere for recreation or whatnot. It almost feels like a commodity in some sense. So what is it the actual, your actual company does and how do you actually win this war? Great question. So we hired the head of NASA's drone program. Oh. Uh, we've got engineers from SpaceX, Raytheon, Boeing. So we have built an aviation grade delivery drone that can achieve the highest levels of aviation safety, well above anything that you would see that has already been commoditized from a a, a hobbyist or a consumer drone. So for example, our drones fly beyond visual line of sight on secure networks over the horizon and further than a person can see. They hover in location and lower the package out of the air, either into the hands of a waiting customer or as precision delivery to a front doorstep. And they're built with safety just being top of mind. Yeah, let's talk about that too, because it doesn't seem like Sabil's nightmare scenario of things just <laughs> dropping out of the sky is too far away, right? And you guys are projecting Q4 commercial deliveries, which I think seems uh, a lot sooner than some of the other companies that we have seen out there. Why so optimistic and, and what's the approval process been like to get there? So we were really excited. Uh, the, President Trump fast-tracked the drone delivery industry by presidential memorandum. He said, we want American companies to win this industry. And so then the Department of Transportation picked just 10 public-private partnerships across the country for fast-track regulatory approval. We were really privileged to be one of those. Since being picked in that program, we've already received regulatory approval for a remote pilot to fly beyond visual line of sight, to fly at night, and for a remote pilot to fly up to 10 flirty eagles at the same time. So all of that is culminating, and we're on track in the fourth quarter of this year to start routine delivery demonstrations by drone to customer homes in Reno, and then scale nationally starting next year. Wow, all right, any idea for the first package delivery, what it might be? I would love for it to be a defibrillator. Oh, all right. We're partnered with the local ambulance service and the American Red Cross, and not only are drones gonna tap this $100 billion last mile delivery industry, but they're also gonna be saving lives. Yeah, for sure, also. Very, very cool stuff from Flirty. Thank you so much. Matthew Sweeney, taking the time to join us, appreciate it.